they wanted to do a sketch called Breakfast Goat, oh. and uh, it would be like a, the breakfast cart. Somebody come up and say, like, oh, I want breakfast. What do you have? The one character just has this kind of song where he's like, well, we have bread and butter and eggs and bread and bread and eggs and butter and bread and bread and eggs and this goat. Say hello, goat. Hello. And bread and <laughs> eggs and butter and <laughs> eggs and bread and eggs and butter. And so uh, he's like, oh, what else? Do you have anything other than that? He's like, well, yeah, of course. We have eggs and butter and bread and eggs and eggs and butter and bread and eggs. Nah, I kind of feel like waffles. waffles. Okay. Well, let's get on this goat and get him. Well, then I'll ride the goat to the supermarket and we'll buy you some waffles because he's a goat. And we'll get on the goat and ride him down to the supermarket and buy your waffles because I love this goat. And the goat can fly and the goat will take me into the sky and we'll fly away into the clouds and maybe we can have some hash browns. The visual was then us sitting on the goat <laughs> yeah. and then floating away into the sky. <laughs> And it would have been the greatest sketch of all time. <laughs> oh, that is oh, I have no doubt that it would, Auntie Donna boys. But tonight it has got to be go time for Night Attack. Bringing you the best of the worst of the internet ever since 1776. Hello, beautiful citizens of the world. I'm Brian Brushwood, live in Austin, Texas. Joined, as always, by my BFF and OAK, it's J-R-Y. What is going on, Justin Robert Young? Brian? Yep. Uh, this is the last... Night attack of 2016. Oh, I thought you were just going to say last night attack ever, mm-hmm. ever. And I was going to be like, you got us again, 2016. <laughs> yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> we're dead, too. Yeah. Uh, one more left in the chamber. Kill ourselves on screen. <laughs> Is that against the TOS? Uh, all right. 20, uh, 2016 in the books. Almost in the books. Almost. Our next show will be in 2017. Yep. Uh, we got a hell of a show here for you guys tonight. We have our annual tradition. Of going over the Google Trends and finding out how many Brian know about. <laughs> oh. Spoiler alert, zero! <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, and we also have what we're going to do now, which is tell you guys a ripping Christmas yarn. <laughs> <laughs> and boy, is it, it, it is a, r- a ripper. <laughs> oh, it is a ripping Christmas yarn, friends. Uh, so here's the deal. Where do we even start? I'll tell you where so- we begin. We The story actually begins right here because this is when I tore our friendship asunder and it began with the, the best of intentions because I put yeah. out last minute, you know, we do a Christmas card every year. So we do this year's Christmas card and uh, uh, kind of a last minute deal. We, we throw together. I go to, I go oh, to. Oh, this is amazing. So we decide it's 65 and, 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 and drizzly in Austin. So I yeah. decide, well, hey, let's just do, uh, let's make a snowman. So I go to, uh, to freaking Sonic and I'm like, hey, I need some of your ice. And they're like, oh, how much we do it by a cup? And I'm like, uh, a lot of ice, need a lot of ice. And I was like, how, how much? Well, like, well, we're making a snowman. <laughs> And so she's like, uh, well, well do, do, do you have a bag? I'm like, nope. Uh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I didn't even get All right. So wait, you went to Sonic for ice? They've got the best, they've got the best the way, ice. I, I know where you live. There is a closer place that sells bags of ice. I, well, I went there too, but yeah. I wanted to see. But you know, like like uh, if I get regular ice, I'm gonna have to use the 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 snow cone machine, and that's gonna be a lot of work. And meanwhile, like they've got that perfect ice over at Sonic. They do. So they you do want pre crushed ice? Maybe. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I'm an asshole. So you're asking them to to run pre crushed ice into a bag that you can then go very fast because that melts very quickly <laughs> back to your house so you can make a snowman for an internet Christmas card. Yes. 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 So we all know what's at stake here. That's what you are asking some 16-year-old <laughs> <that> <laughs> an hour. Some 
So I'm 16 year old on skates, nonetheless. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, and so and so they're they're like, uh, uh, no, I don't have a bag. They're like, well, I, I I can use a trash bag, and I'm like, sounds great. And so uh, and so out they come with a trash bag full of of pre crushed awesome ice from Sonic, and uh, and uh, he throws it in what, the back. What do you tip them on that? What do you tip them on that? Oh, we're getting to that. <laughs> oh. I did mention that I'm an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> Stop uh, it. No. No. What? No. Okay. Not that big of an asshole. Uh, but uh, they uh, they they bring out a bag and they're like, Hey, zit face, roll in there and get me this ice pack, <laughs> if you will. So I they bring one out. They're like, Will that do? And I was just like, Oh, you know, it's going to be, you know, we want to make a snowman. They're like, Well, how big a snowman? I'm like, Yeah, big as me. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, it's an effigy to me. <laughs> <laughs> and so, and so the guy goes back in. <laughs> he comes back with three more giant trash bags, and then he, and then they're like, "Well, I just rang up a few cups, uh, ten dollars for the first bag, and I guess the rest just give us ten more dollars." And I was like, "You got it." <laughs> what? So then, and then I reach into my pocket like I'm a grandfather. Which, by the way, if you have the means, mm -hmm. I highly recommend carrying as many $2 bills as you can get your hands on. Oh, you made him a $2 bill! I gave, <laughs> I gave, I paid with a credit card and then I, I gave a $2 tip, partly for that magic moment of like, I'm a what? $2 tip. You only gave him $2? $2 each! That was like, that was like 20%. Also, you don't have to tip at, at Sonic. But, uh, but I tip anyway. You ask them to give you ice for free. Wait, wait, wait. The ice is free. Like, there, there was pure profit for them. That's no man's ice. That's God's ice, I, bro. I we should all oh. share in his bounty. They have not that is, dick. I literally would have paid whatever they want. And then I went and got two more, uh, uh, wait, tw uh, 20 more bags of ice from the other place, which was, I guess, around the same. It ended up being half and half. But... It's a good thing because we ended up uh, burning out this uh, this thing. And so anyway, we made we made the, the 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 cute brushwood video, and now I feel like I'm such an asshole. I shouldn't even show it. You should show so back and tip them because you more. have like you're making the ice the entire time. What a fraud! Well, no, no, no. Half of the ice was made. Half the ice I'm making. It's not like I've. This is not CGI ice <laughs> that I'm crushing <laughs> over on the side. Oh, Hollywood brushwood, <laughs> looking behind the camera I, for all the Hollywood magic. I will say that the that the thing overheated halfway through, even though it's just crushing ice, and you think, how could it get overheated? But it stopped working. Yeah, apparently when so. you're when you're making a uh, 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 crushed ice to feed an army. Right. Uh, because so we, that's what they eat on the battlefronts. <laughs> they all eat crushed ice. ice. You so guys had, have done uh, we, uh, for what? Three years now or four years now? No, five, five years. Yeah. Five yeah. years. Wow, Longer okay. than so, Callie. Like I was pregnant the second one. Yeah, the second time we made one, I was pregnant, and everybody laughed at me because I was just sitting on the couch the whole time. <laughs> I was just like, ah. so now let me let me so. give uh, let, let's roll things a few months before this. Yeah. Because our favorite game, seem seemingly innocently, and I don't know how many people remember this, <laughs> but Brian and I have created a fun little game for between the two of us, wherein we try to get the other one to look out without their knowledge, a a a, a picture, and it's and, dumb, and it, it's it, a very dumb picture. It only works, and it's only funny if you get somebody interested to the point. That they're actually gonna look. You can't just say like, "Hey, look at this," yeah. and you're like, "Haha, gotcha." Um, you've got to trick them into believing that what they're about to see is something of substance. Uh, and for example, might say, um, uh, "Oh, did you get that new logo from uh, yeah. from Captain Fubar?" Uh, yeah. like, no, no. What is it? And then you look, and then it's uh, it's always <laughs> it's always this. It's image. always this picture. And and for those of you who are listening, it's a picture of a gorilla diving sideways, seemingly into a pool or where there are a bunch of people in bikinis and bathing suits. And it just says, 
This is the photo of Harambe, the Cincinnati Zoo didn't want you to see. Right. Yeah. So, uh, and so uh, at some point, you know, and just when you think the game is over, uh, uh, you know, one of us will pick it up again. And yeah. in this case, I think it was Bonnie's idea. Like, mm -hmm. was was it you that brought it up? So it had I mean, been. Yes, it was definitely me because, like. I, I don't know. Like, I see Brian from time to time, and, like, he has a special smirk for when he's planning these. these <laughs> when, it's, when I'm getting ready like, to I Harambe you. I know exactly yeah. what he's doing. He's over there with his phone up to his face, and he has, like, a very spe specific little look to his face. And then... And then I got that look, and I was like, "Oh, I know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump on in and and send." So okay, so did you hit me, and then Bonnie hit me in the same day, yes. or, did, or was Bonnie the yeah. one who who first started? Uh, y y yes, uh, to both. I think I did it earlier in the day. Bonnie, do you have your phone? Can you read? Uh, your oh your... no, I have my phone. Oh, oh there I you go. All right, all right. Exactly what Bonnie said. I get a text. From Bonnie, my friend, Bonnie Brushwood, <laughs> who you trust, who I trust, and who, by the way, has not been involved in this Harambe prank war oh, no. yet. No, no, this has not gone outside of Brian and Justin. And I, I get on Saturday, on Christmas Eve, <laughs> I get. Did you get that adorable? Uh, uh, did you get that adorable photo for you guys? I hit her back with a question mark. And I say, I did get your Christmas card, which was the best yet. <laughs> so this is just, you know, just a couple of earnest friends having an earnest chat. So she goes, no, this is much better. Hang on. Now, this is also a key part of this game. <laughs> is you've got to get them <laughs> waiting with bated breath. You've got to get them Looking actually at anticipating. at their phone. Yes. <laughs> so it pops up in chat and not in the alert window. Right, the alert right. window ruins everything. It's got to be in the chat. And she hits me with, this is the photo of Harambe. The Cincinnati Zoo didn't want you to see. <laughs> Bonnie, do you have the text uh, conversation in front of you? Oh, I I'm I can pull it up. Uh, yeah. I'll tell you yeah, what. Yeah, 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 Meanwhile, yeah. Justin. Cause I, cause oh, I would yeah, very because much he like can't say this again. My reply. I was really kind of shocked, though. Like, the reply is... You bitch. <laughs> just like, well, and then <laughs> and then he stops responding to Bonnie. He just writes yeah, "you bitch" to Bonnie, and right. then my phone blows up, all caps. You motherfucker! <laughs> you just escalated this. This is war. <laughs> and so, so, uh, so yeah. So then we go on. We've now. I feel that this is a violation of the Geneva Convention. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We have now brought in family into this, right? Yes. And, uh, and so, uh, by the way, this was happening as we were going to Christmas Eve dinner. My parents, Bonnie's parents, my brother, Bonnie's brother, and, and, and his wife all getting together. And uh, as, as you do, you bring toys to, to, to play with your, you know, with your family and so on. In, in my case, uh, I don't think I've talked about it on the live stream, but it's like I've been really worried uh, about having bought a lemon <laughs> because because yeah. we were talking about investing in new equipment for the modern rogue to set up some epic shots you know we want to blow stuff up and be able to get these awesome shots of it happening or whatever so i started looking at drones and i started to get drone fever and i, I think we talked about this on the show where i was about to you know i'm like hey uh, talk me off this ledge should i not spend four thousand dollars on this crazy drone and you're like uh look man i ain't the guy to talk you off a ledge <laughs> no and so I, I think you should get one. You do get one, but it's not. I get one that's used. Yeah. And uh, after I give uh, uh, $1,500 to my friend, I open it up and spend a day and a half trying to get it to work. And it just does not work at all. And, now, and then you have that awkward conversation of like, hey, how are we going to handle this <laughs> issue that we are having about our drone? And yeah. Uh, uh, luckily it was only like $300. I, I shipped it off. Uh, and, and I still like all my experience has been this damn thing won't connect. It won't do anything. It won't freaking do. Yeah. You know, I just want to punch something. It won't do what it needs to do because again, this is a production drone. So for everybody who's like, Oh, you're spending all this much on a drone. This is what, what takes Brian's video production to that next level. Like Hopefully. you want to know the difference between what Brian does now and anything on cable television 
jib shots, better cameras, and drone shots to bring up production Yes, value. well, and, and by the way, people are saying only $300. Understand, compared to, like, <clears throat> at $300 to fix it, it becomes a not-friendship-ending issue between me and the guy who I bought it from. It's yeah, like, it's fine. I mean, we I, did I will, get gladly handle that and we're all still friends here right uh, and yeah. yes he paid the entire price in two dollars <laughs> <laughs> exactly so no so uh but but at this point we get there and we're hanging out and um uh it's i i i bring it with me because i know bonnie's dad used to uh, uh fly remote controlled uh planes all the time you know he's really into the quadcopters and all that stuff i'm excited to know the damn thing works and uh and so it's 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 a slight drizzle it's a slight like i don't know two or three mile an hour wind we're yeah. running out of time the the sun's getting ready to go down foods we're about 25 minutes till food and you just realize like it's either now or never right it's like let, let me just get it going so i set it out to just try it. And it's like, I want it to connect. And I look and sure enough, uh, the remote goes on and, and I'm seeing through the camera on the drone, which had never happened before. The connection didn't work. It was totally a brick before. And now it's actually working and I'm really, really excited. But also- Brian was Brian was as excited as if he had just fleeced some teenagers for ice. Like that was how excited <laughs> Brian was. He was just so thrilled. Oh I mean, the family really did look adorable, though, right? Oh, I mean, really? it was great. It was great. I was great. I'm sure really that good... the managers of all those young teenagers <laughs> are going to be thrilled when they're out of ice by eight o'clock. Yeah. I mean, it was it was the manager. The manager was the one who made it happen. Uh, but the uh, so um, so okay. So I, with the drizzle going on, I'm just like, well, okay. I just want I just want to see this thing, get it to raise, maybe move it around just a little bit, and then set it down that we could go in and eat because it's a lovely, lovely dinner and we're, it's going to be great. So so I I pull it under. Underneath, uh, my parents have this like carport, and um, uh, and uh, Bonnie's dad is sitting the off to one side. Um, I'm <laughs> kind of leaned up against my dad's brand new uh, Mustang, <laughs> which he's very yeah. very proud and excited about. <clears throat> yep. And uh, and I I click the button and I and I go and and I I, I have it in beginner mode. Figure can't screw all this up, you know. So and let me let me let me just let me just before before we get any further. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me just set the scene for everybody because yes. folks. This is a very Brushwood Christmas. Yeah. This video has gone out. All the girls are, are, are there and gathered with the parents. I mean, this has been a hell of a year. I don't want to tell tales out of school, but it's got to feel good for all the Brushwoods to come together and not only symbolically unite with each other for the end of the year on this very special holiday, but also to witness the first flight of a piece of equipment that will take Brian's uh, career to the next level as his Modern Rogue YouTube channel continues to soar. Yes, very, very excited about it. Uh, and so I've got, I've got, uh, you know, Bonnie's, Bonnie's dad and Bonnie's uh, mom is, is kind of down the way and the kids are all around playing or whatever. And so I slide the thing that says, you know, just raise up four feet. Uh, this thing turns on with a literal growl it transforms yeah. into a lion and just all of a sudden sounds like a horde of angry bees going Mrah! and you got it dude i bet you that binger of yours was just full mass like you're like yes this is it exactly this is the true power well and and, and, I, and I realize uh i realize like it's i'm like it works it works i didn't waste it you know no sunk cost fallacy everything is fine it's going to be fine and it just and it hovers uh four feet it turns out about eye level um yeah, uh, and the kids, the kids who are like in the screen door going inside at this point, turn and run towards the noise. Oh, and the they're so bees. excited! Uh, 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 as Renegu says in the diamond chat, uh, Shwood's got a droner boner. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and so and so, but I see it, and it's uh, then I realize that the wind is more than I'm comfortable with. You, you ever get one of those moments that you just realize is charged, and it's like you're not comfortable with what's happening right now like because right now the kids are actively running towards this thing that is that is blowing in the breeze within within 12 inches of my dad's uh, beloved car kind of wafting back towards bonnie's dad uh and and everybody's crowded around and all of a sudden it's like you know if 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 for my level of comfort i like all of a sudden we're wildly outside of it and i 
at this point, this is the first time I've turned it on, I'm not even comfortable trying to pilot it down for fear of running it into my dad's car uh, and uh, or hitting one of the kids or whatever, right? So, yeah. uh, so uh, 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 as I have done with other quadcopters, I'm like, yeah. this needs to be away from my kid's face. It needs to be out of this enclosed area. I don't care if it is raining. I'm going to walk it out here away from everybody for their safety. So I grabbed this thing. So you're going to grab the drone. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. I grabbed the, the, the underside of the drone well away from the blades, right? Uh, come on, dicks. Yes. I grabbed the- I mean, come on. Brian- I, I, like of course he's yeah because you've worked with quadcopters before. Yes, we, we've had yeah. we, yes, yes, yes. That's like the perennial favorite. Every 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 holiday at Christmas, somebody gets a different various size of quadcopter, right? Come on, so, all right. So I, Brian grabs it. He's safe with it away from the blades. Here's what here's what here's what I didn't factor. Mm hmm. This is not like the other quadcopters. Those other oh. quadcopters, they were they were dumb. They just did yeah. what they they just followed orders. They did what they were told. Yeah. This one's got a GPS. Knows, oh. Knows where it is. Huh. Knows where it's supposed to be. Yeah. And it's able to make some decisions. Mm. So the moment I grab this thing, it feels the downward force, and it, it, it thinks, uh, oh, I'm about to crash. Oh. <laughs> I, I'm a very expensive piece of equipment. Correct. So, so we should not crash because <laughs> I'm very expensive. Yes. Oh. <laughs> so the blades just fire into overdrive, and all of a sudden, I'm holding a live beehive, <laughs> and all of a sudden, like, my my alert of, like, nah, not comfortable with kids and too close to cars and stuff is suddenly, like, this thing needs to be away from everyone now. And so I start walking it away into the light drizzle, and this thing is so on fire, like going nuts, that I'm that I'm now thinking. Um, uh, and at this point, I have I have set down the control, or ask I, I think I handed it to Bonnie's dad or whatever. And I'm like I'm like okay, if I let go, this thing's gonna fly into the tree, and I'm gonna be the asshole who turns on his drone for exactly five seconds, and it goes and yeah. runs into the goddamn tree. And yeah. so uh, and so. I say, I say, I, I look over very calmly, and I'm like, uh, uh, "Hey, uh, uh, Bonnie, Bonnie's dad," uh, which is how I call my father-in-law. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> I say, I say, can you can you turn it off? Just turn it off, and it'll be fine, right? And then, yeah. and then we look at it, my dad and I, at the same time. We're like, "Off," because right. usually, like, like. So that's what at- everybody's asking. Everybody thinks they know how this ends. Everyone's like, "Well, why didn't you turn it off?" And you are explaining how you turned it off. Exactly. Right. And I was like, "I was like, yes, turn it off. Press the button once, and then hold it down, and it'll go do 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 do." And I watch them do exactly that. They go beep do 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 do, and then okay, pause. Yeah, right here. Let's go from Austin, Texas. Yeah. To uh, Ohio, where I am. For Christmas, mm. yes. I am sitting on my father-in-law's couch, and we are watching. Uh, we're, we're actually no, I think I was at uh, anyway. I'm sitting at, at a family gathering, and I'm just hanging out, enjoying talking to Ashley's family. Uh, do we want to say? Do we want to go through the text conversation? No, not yet, because we're not there yet. <laughs> we okay, haven't gotten go. to that part. So, um, uh, so they successfully turned it off. I, I did it. I pulled, I pulled this threat away from my children, away from my dad's equipment. I got it out into a safe area. It's been turned off. The one thing that I see, and I didn't even rely on like, oh, I'll suddenly be a genius pilot, even though I've never done this before. What? Wait, what are you doing? It is his turn. No. No. It no. Because the next thing that happens is mm-hmm. the intelligent robot, upon losing signal with the remote, says... I have lost signal with remote. I must enter landing sequence. At which point, those blades, they were very far away from my hand. These arms just... And start moving down. Yes, yes. I'm I'm still running at the same speed. Yes, yes. And I'm watching as it goes, and uh, from two sides simultaneously, I look as I'm holding a fucking Cuisinart, chopping away at the money makers, <laughs> like just, just. At which point, all of a sudden, any like, like again, part of this was this is an expensive piece of equipment. I don't want it to fly into a tree. <laughs> at this point, like my fucking hand is out of there. This thing's on the ground. 
and Bonnie, for some reason, <laughs> runs over and kicks it. <laughs> It needed to be punished. Bonnie <laughs> runs. Look at the drone. I had some steel toe <laughs> shoes on too. Why? I no, it's boots. not the drone's fault. It didn't try to mangle him. But it was still coming for my dad and me. So I needed to make it end. I was just like, go to hell, kick. <laughs> I'm a Texas girl. That's what we do. It's so <laughs> you just it's look so... down at the drone and you're like, you're terminated, fucker. <laughs> and do you know what? After I kicked it, it just stopped. And I'm like, oh, oh. Oh, yeah, Bonnie. I'm sure that's how it is in the manual is just kick it with the steel-toed boots if you want to cease operations. Bonnie actually took a photo of the drone after she kicked it. Look at this. I did. Oh. <laughs> oh God, I got suckered. <laughs> Well, here's the deal. You got I'm me. sitting at this event when all of a sudden I get the oh. following text <laughs> from Brian. Yes. Oh my gosh. Brian texts me and says, uh, so th this is right after me saying, you motherfucker, you just escalated this. This is war. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? This is Brian says probably... nothing back to me. Yeah. So I get the following text. Holy cow, inaugural flight of the drone resulted in seven stitches at the ER now. Here's how it looked before the stitches. <laughs> and I respond to Brian with fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I get no photo, by the way. I get no photo. Therefore leading me to believe that Brian is indeed stringing me along. To get me with a Harambe photo, by the way, the second in a day, a, a heretofore unseen level of humiliation if I buy in to <laughs> Brian's ploy. To which he says, not going to lie, the second photo was definitely going to be Harambe. <laughs> <laughs> but for some reason, the Stitches photo isn't going through. Hospital Wi-Fi doesn't want sexting. I got to see tendons too. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, and At then... which point, I have a question. Oh, crap. Yeah, come on, Brian. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Uh, there it is. <laughs> Spoiled it. At which point, Go. I have, I have a, a crisis of conscience. <laughs> I can either, either ask Brian for these pictures and get Harambe, or I can I can safeguard myself to the point where I don't potentially get harambe for which I say, hmm, if this is a double ploy to Harambe me, I will be upset. <laughs> but know that I'm suspicious when you ask, well, uh, wait, what? <laughs> Brian explains it to me and begins showing uh, uh, his, uh, his, his horrifying Yeah, dude. That's, uh, uh, oh. uh, and then meanwhile, <laughs> at our, our thing, Hold he on. goes, Brian goes, okay, wait, first... Try to get this photo out. We got to do it fast so we can send the Harambe. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because because I said it, and then the 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 hotel Wi Fi, like, or the hotel, hotel Wi Fi, the, the hospital Wi Fi was garbage. Um, uh, yeah. But uh, but yeah, no, no, no. Uh, uh, seven, seven stitches. But um, look, at, look at that. It's beast. looking a lot better today. So it so. got you right. I guess no, no, no. So it wasn't right between the fingers, but it got you above. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was wild. Uh, there's this moment where it's like she's, she's going to, uh, she's like, do you want to look? And, you know, like, there's this weird, like, I don't know. Some people want to look. Do you want to look? I'm like, yeah, I'll look. And she, and, she, and so then, like, deciding that we were cool bros now, and I was forgetting that it was my hand. She grabs as if it's my, uh, my petticoat, <laughs> and grabs the folds of flesh and just spreads them wide, <laughs> and I'm like, ho. And then, uh, and she goes, she goes, um, oh yeah, no, th uh, those are your tendons. Uh, uh, you got real lucky. Looks like, uh, looks like your tendons are just fine. And I was like, so just skin. And, uh, you know, we're having this, this like surreal, you know, I'm like, cause, cause you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a magician and, uh, I kind of need yeah. the, um, with the, uh, uh, <laughs> But yes, uh, uh, short answer is that uh, uh, every, everything would be fine. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so two questions that immediately I'm sure are coming to everybody's mind, either listening to this or watching it live. Number one, you you are fine. You have full dexterity in both hands. Uh, yes, but the more important question I know everyone's asking. Uh, yes, I did give her a two dollar tip, and she was very thankful. <laughs> that was very, very good. Third most popular question. One word. 
jerk in hand? <laughs> uh, yeah, man. Feels like sandpaper when you wear all that stuff. Uh, but oh but here, God. to put in perspective, look at this. I, t- I took a photo of this. The cool thing about this- that, if it is your jerk in hand, that you can just, like, you can really tell how fast you're going when you just look at the stitches. <laughs> oh, uh, so oh. so look at this. This is my thumbnail that got hit so hard by that Cuisinart thing that it ripped. Yeah, it, all right. All right, let's, let, we're, we're getting some, some this complaints is not, here. So this let, is let, not let, a let's medical just drama. Those. All right, all right. Not a medical drama. This is a comedy. So well, we're enough of the photos. At any rate, at any rate, uh, yeah, everything's 100% A-OK. Uh, they, they say it's going to heal up real purdy. And, uh, and uh, yeah. uh, he, she said that I'm a hero. Because I saved the family yeah. and my hey! dad's Mustang. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but then we, uh, yeah, then we started playing with the uh, the drone this weekend. It's pretty rad. It uh, we actually oh, wait, got some... went back to the drone, dude. I had to. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna be afraid. Well, because I gave him. I gave like, it that. I gave it afraid that of no drone. <laughs> What's I, that body? I gave it the swift kick, and Brian wasn't sure if it worked anymore. <laughs> so he really. Uh... Yeah. No, that was definitely <laughs> part of it. <laughs> was, was, was I was just like, I swear to God, if after all this, <laughs> I'm a broken ass drone. By the way, P. Delahenti in the Twitch chat says, "Sure, Brian mangled his hands, but Justin's the one who looks like Doctor Strange." <laughs> Wait, oh wait! What do you, oh yeah, you do look like Doctor Strange. Oh yeah! There we go. Well, but now you, we are together, Brian. We are Doctor Strange. You have the mangled hands, and I have the graying temples. Yeah. All right. But check and this out. A, Hold on. Wait for we this. We have a, a no lie. Like we run out of insurance in one week because of a. Uh, oh yeah, because we got we got kicked out. We got. Uh, yeah, all right. Uh, but <laughs> dude, check this out. We, uh, wow, so this is drone footage. This is the, the drone flying around and swanging that yeah. camera. Yeah, man. And uh, Do we get to see the Mustang that didn't get destroyed? <laughs> yeah, up? there it is. That's the, that's the Mustang that, that didn't get destroyed. You can actually see the carport where, where everything happened. Uh, and the girls, you know, the girls are all just like, is daddy ever coming home? And, and my mom, who has seen me get so... I've never had a bone broken that I know of, but I've had so many stitches that it was like... All right, guys, I'll be back as soon as I can. It was like a, a, a five minute. They live like practically in the parking lot of the hospital. And by the way, if you're going to stick your hand in a blender or something, I highly recommend you do it on Christmas Eve because there is no line and you get uh, premium service. I was back there. We had fantastic meal. Everything was uh, super, super great. It was awesome. <sighs> Brian, yeah. that was indeed a ripping yarn. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. We even uh, got uh, hey, uh you want to know what makes these kinds of yarns uh, uh possible, Brian? Yeah, incredible drone footage with a DJI Inspire 1.0 available at dji.com. The dogs all freaked out. Uh, like... Also, patreon.com <laughs> oh. slash attack. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. You guys support the show. You make it possible. <laughs> like if you go to patreon.com, P A T R E O N uh, patreon.com slash night attack then you my friend will get the special podcast feed you'll get your very own rss feed where you'll get the pre-show the post show everything in between instead of just getting a scant 70 to 80 minutes with us in your ear holes you'll hang mm-hmm. out for a good three or four hours you'll be practically begging for us to shut up by the time it's over and it's possible all you have to do is go to patreon.com slash night attack and you can be part of uh, the few the proud <laughs> Gar McKinnon Diamond says, some nights I feel like this makes us enablers. Uh, well, well, please enable us, ladies and gentlemen. Head on over to patreon.com slash night attack and make sure that we continue to bring you the best in night attack uh, uh, ever. And there is one tradition that we have come to know and love. <laughs> I should really be more prepared uh, uh, And that this. is, uh, 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 do we have uh, the, the, Wait, the sound? We, you'll have to do your impression of the sound. Okay. It is the, uh, uh, well, here, I'm sure somebody will be able to get it for us here if, if we just keep filling. Uh, it is where we shout out the, the uh, one of the one people random that, person. Has, uh, that has uh, upped their pledge oh. in the last 24 hours. Oh, somebody wanted it bad. Somebody upped their pledge from $1 an episode to $1.01 per episode. And to so- that, we salute you. Eric, Eric, Eric Cranley. Cranley. Eric Cranley. What are you doing, Eric? Eric? Are you eating cereal cereal right right now? now? Mr. Cranley, Cranley. what are you doing? doing? Are they Coco Dino Bites? They're better than the authentic authentic Rice Krispies, Krispies, Coco. 
Aerocranty eat cereal. As Balloon as Balloon put, as put, on, on, as on, put it, uh, hey man, he upped his pledge, so up yours. <laughs> Head on over to patreon.com slash night attack and up yours too. Please up yours. Who was that? Who wrote that? Uh, that, that was Balloon Knots, I believe. You why? Oh my gosh. You why? Up yours today. <laughs> Thank you so much, Eric Cranley. You are a champion <laughs> among men. All right, Justin, every year things happen, and I don't think I i pretty much know all of them as long as they have anything to do with my daughters, and that's about it. Uh, all right, so uh, here we go. Let's uh, let's go. This is something that we've done. I mean, God, how many years in a row now for this? I think this has got to be at least as long, if not longer, than than the than the Christmas videos. No, right? I, th- I think it's I think it was four years ago. I think it was 2012 was the first one we did. But we'll have to. Oh we'll no, the, the Adele song was more than four years ago, and that's that's where this this <clears throat> that, that's uh, where that gosh, came from. Man, maybe I stand corrected. I don't this know. How, how a- long ago was Boodle Deedle Do? We need we well, need someone <gasps> to give us a a, a a time stamp on Boodle Deedle Do. Well, here I mean we the can't very Boodle? well. Just, oh my gosh, that's so disturbing. To, let's just make sure. <laughs> <laughs> Did you show that picture? Oh gosh! Yeah, well, that's 2015. That's Brian's face. Uh, on a I have burning in my heart. Do 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 <laughs> I seriously can't tell the difference between this one and the original. Bring it home! <laughs> <laughs> All right. So anyway, uh, so that was oh tw- uh, was two thousand what? I mean, uh, the original. It looks like twenty. Uh, oh bo- no, Boodle Deedle Two, Electric Boodle Do, <laughs> was on. <laughs> was apparently on May twenty third, twenty twelve. So I think you're right. I think it was twenty eleven. So it was five years ago. Twenty eleven. Oh Holy smokes! So, uh, so I think that was the first time that we did that. Uh, Amazing. So here we go, Brian. Of course, they always break. Oh no! Here we go. Here's here's the top ten. Okay, wh- where should I look? Uh, go to Google.com/slash/trends, and I think up top you will see the 2016 story. Mm-hmm. This is uh, to see what's trending in 2016. Explore global. story. Okay. So yeah, explore story. Now All scroll right. down a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Uh, you tell me should... how much to look or not look at. Oh no! Oh, oh! Keep going! Oh, I can. If you want it to be a surprise, I can. I can just read them off to you. <sighs> yeah. Well, start with one, and then we can find out what it is. I mean, uh, uh, you. All right. Well, you this drive. is all searches. So wait, do you want to go from ten to one or one to ten? Yeah. In fact, uh, I'll, let's go from one to ten because I'm pretty sure I'll know the number one story. God, I hope so. <laughs> okay, Brian. The number one story. Pokemon Go. Oh. That was the what? That was the number one story of Q2 2016, and nothing else. Like, like, does anyone still play Pokemon Go? I mean, they just started putting in new stuff, mm. so I think some people are playing it again now. But man, has anything burned brighter and flamed out faster than Pokemon Go? Uh, well, gosh. I mean, it used to have like gameplay dynamics in it, and then at some point, it was just like, now go over here. Look, you went there. Yeah, tell me in the chat room if, if you guys played. Do you play or 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 not anymore? Boy, you were. A lot of people said that they've quit playing a while a I while saw, ago. I saw two kids. We have a place near us that has like a gym, and I saw two kids playing today. But all I know is that I O Ash in chat. I forget what her chat name is. Uh, Snowshoe. 
Oh, yeah, snowshoe. There we go. And then uh, uh, she taught Penny how to play, so I didn't have to learn it and then teach Penny how to play. So that was <laughs> And awesome. Penny, luckily, just got bored of it all by herself. Congratulations, yes! kid. Yay! You're as good as the rest of us. <laughs> yeah. I think the problem is, is, like, it just came so fast, and people got so into it that, like, immediately trying to take a gym was, like, out of the question. Like, you were going to do it in, like, you know, it's going to take you 15 minutes and your ass is going to kicked out in in one, right? Like, people were just on it so hard. Well, and that's the thing. Like, Demon 5 is asking, like, do you play actively or just, like, when you're at the grocery store? And it seemed to me, like, the only winning move was to go all in, right? Like, what's the point of him kind of half-assing it? Yeah. No, Gambling Man in the, in, the, in the, the, the Twitch chat said it was some summertime fun, but summer's over in America. Yeah, yeah that's, that's it. exactly summer it. Summer loving under the docks. They were, uh, but oh, those summer nights with Pokemon Go. Boy, was it a fun time. All right, I'm looking right now. I, I accidentally saw number two. Number two on the list, of course, I, I know is uh, uh, the iPhone 7, right? All right. All right. So iPhone 7. Can, uh, I got one. Did you get one? I didn't. It is the first generation I, I just have sat out. And and this is, uh, uh, Bonnie got it, and I didn't get it. I got the it. bros gold, too. Wait, bros gold? What, bros you don't gold, know what bro. that is? What? Yeah, bro, you ain't down with the bros gold, bro? You don't know? That's a, that sounds like a sequel to City Slickers. <laughs> oh, <laughs> hell no. Dude, Bonnie's on that brosé. That Bonnie's bros? on, uh, you know, a kiss from the bros. From mm. Bros McGowan. Mm -hmm. uh, a, a, a bros for the opera star. <laughs> Uh, it, kiss. I already said kiss from a bros. <laughs> uh, I guess the point is that real men have rose gold colored iPhones. Apparently. I mean, I don't know. Maybe. I mean, like, I don't know if if you're balling so hard that you're two dollar tipping. Maybe not. God. But like for the rest of us, <laughs> <laughs> with the rest of us bros, we gotta try and get some gold in our lives. God damn it. Yeah. Baby. <laughs> All right. So here we go. Um, kiss by bros. Uh, number three, uh, a bit of a uh, shock. It is a reality star, uh, <laughs> Donald Trump. Huh. I wonder what he did this year. No, hmm. I don't know. Mm. Uh, oh, there's mm -hmm. something I ran across about us talking. Man, whole, uh, the whole the whole world got egg on his face on that one. I want to hear every prediction from everyone one year ago today regarding oh, Donald God. Trump. Well, number one. You have you have a luxurious uh, selection from me because I chose this election to do an, a, a a politics podcast and and just did a whole lot of like I mean come on guys we all know that Donald Trump's gonna flame out every once in a while I mean geez he's never definitely not gonna win the primaries oh wait he won the primaries he's definitely not gonna win the general oh wait he won the general like so yeah now you have. Find the, the, the I, I, here's my challenge to anybody listening. If you can put together the derpiest highlight reel of me shorting <laughs> Donald Trump, like I, we will play it on, on the politics, politics podcast, uh, 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 whenever you can do it. If anybody wants to take that on, please oh feel free. My yeah, no, we'll own that. Uh, I, I'll tell you what though, that was a very special election night hanging out with, with, the hardcore historian himself, oh. Dan Carlin, on the stream as we share in the surreality of, of that which cannot possibly be true. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. Especially because we decided to get him on before it was clear that Donald Trump was going to win. It was at the point where Donald Trump's own people were leaking to CNN that they were pretty sure they were going to lose. Yeah. Oh, my God. Uh, it, was, it was amazing. It was amazing. Waffle Africa said we had 1,200 people tuning in live. Oh, wow. Uh, and, then, and then just <laughs> picked the wrong time to start crowing about a god king. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, no, no, it's got, great. It's great. Maybe way, we'll limit presidential locked. powers finally. No, it's, it's, it's good. It's a good thing. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so we did that. And then, of course, that led to one of, I think, my favorite episodes, if not my favorite episode of the year, which was... You know, we decided as drunk as everybody got on election night, we decided that I was going to spend the money, which, by the way, I forgot to actually charge the night attack. Oh, yeah, uh, to, that's right. I was going to spend the money to come in uh, uh, early oh, to yeah. Austin so we could do the show uh, live the night after the election. And uh, it was one of the most 
electric episodes of the show I think uh, we've ever had. And it right? ended up just us retelling the story of it uh, was cathartic because, like, we, I mean, how do you take something that was so painful uh, to to one half the audience and so, um, uh, you know, uh, angry victory fire laden with the other? It's it's difficult to make comedy in that. So instead, we just insisted that there would be no talk of politics that we could only sing it and of course none of us know how to sing good thing mike tv was there to cover us uh and and we improv all these songs that were i think legitimately terrible right is fair enough to say oh oh legit horrifyingly bad except stephen cogswell the genius made an entire album out of it uh yeah no it was truly amazing elect. God King, God King, who are all powerful ministers of darkness from their fortress, casting bolts and assassinations from their drone-filled hands. <laughs> God King, listening to your phone calls, passing judgment from upon high. Determines he gets health care. The, the God King. God King. He decides who, what, the where, God why. Here. He dictates here. The God King. Oh. <laughs> the God, the God, God King. King. The God King. Declares the God King. Without Congress. He declares more. <laughs> God King! God King! The God King! He rules from above, Ooh. not below. The and God King! The, the God King! Oh. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh yeah, that's right. Our song, our anthem was Oh Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, we sang our anthem. Oh yeah! <laughs> I just want to hear. I just want to hear a touch of the it's anthem. Oh, oh yeah! All right. <laughs> Oh, I, I think Jesus. we made a lot of All sunshine right, out of that up. evening, for sure. <laughs> like, <laughs> that was amazing, though. Donald Trump, uh, the number three. Uh, can we go here to the uh, uh, the number four, Brian? Uh Prince. Oh, my God. Yeah. No, these are all things that were hugely impactful. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Prince was sort of the beginning of the, 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 the fuck you 2016 meme, right? Where it's just like because there's Prince. Oh, did, did, did Prince go first or Bowie go first? I think it was Bowie first and then Prince. And then and that's Prince when it felt like, like oh, this is too much. Mm. Yeah. Man. Mm. Uh, uh, all right. So what was your what was your least favorite 2016 celebrity death? If we're going to pit each other against each other. Oh, we we gonna have a, a face off. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm sure somebody can Who give me wins? a list. Who wins? Who's the king of the damned? Uh, oh man, Alan Rickman, huh? That was a good one. Yeah, oh, Lemmy, yeah. plenty, plenty. Kurt Fisher, to... Gary Shandling, Alan Rickman. Uh, oh yeah, no, it was Lemmy, uh, 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 Prince, and Bowie, all all in a row there. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. Uh, yeah. No, Lemmy was 2016, man. It was it was uh, Gary Marshall was gone, Leonard Cohen, John Glenn. Uh, uh, I mean, Ava Goda. Yeah, not finally. A joke finally. That he's dead anymore. Now he's really dead. <laughs> I mean, it's almost. I mean, it certainly softened the blow <laughs> when we've been practicing for 15 years for this moment. Exactly. Then now it's the final punchline to a 90s Conan joke. Uh, yeah. No, Alan Thicke. Oh, oh yeah, just, uh, mm -hmm. just Nancy oh, Reagan, Nancy Gene Reagan. Wilder, not Britney Spears. Shut <laughs> right, up, Patrick Delahanty. Shame on you. Uh, Zsa, 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 Zsa Gabor. Gabor. Just, just insane. Oh, oh yeah, Anton Scalia. Oh, uh, minor, minor player, bit player in this whole game. Florence Henderson. So, so you guys realize, like, uh, you know, of course. Oh, oh, Gene Wilder. Of course, I think Gene Wilder is the one that hit me yeah. the hardest because I had been missing him for so long. 
he felt like an estranged loved one that I was convinced, you know, any day he's going to show up at one of these family reunions and it'll be great to see him again. I know he's, you know, and then yeah. to find out that, you know, he was being hit with uh, uh, dementia or Alzheimer's, I forget which, and then, and that, uh, and then he finally passed. Uh, just, oh, that, that, that was a rough one for me. Yeah. Even, even dead wrestlers made a comeback. Balls Mahoney, Axel Rotten, and China. Joni Lurr uh, uh, died this year. It was just, my God. I, I was joking on the jury uh, show today that, like, has a year ever had lower expectations than 2017? <laughs> like, you know, there's there's really just, just don't kill all of our favorite <laughs> celebrities. And, Wait, and, and, let's not forget Harambe. That was uh, this year, that's too. right. No, uh, Ali, he was in chat just said that. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you what, man. Uh, for the record, I Babe won't. Ruth died. Babe Ruth died. <laughs> George Michael. George Michael. Ugh. Oh, yeah. uh, but just but, just insane. But like for reals, I totally called it on P. Karambe, right? Like that bet between us with Adam Curry. Like oh, dude, you nailed, you nailed it. it. You nailed it. You got it right at you got it right at the peak. You you peaked at the peak of Harambe. Mm, uh, all right, great. how about this? Number five, Powerball. Do you know Powerball. how much the Powerball jackpot was for this Ooh. year? Oh, jeez. No, I really don't. I just get you guys sad. got that down there in Texas. The yeah, Powerball? I, th I think yeah, we finally plugged we in. Made. Like, like it's all one national conglomerate. It's like the world shittiest casino, and it's like. <laughs> It's. I mean. I mean. Like. Like. Like the biggest multinational, government-run, worst odds casino on the planet. And then they just go uh, something education. <laughs> Shut up, and it's the only game in town. Or like, we'll use guns against you if you try to open up competition. Like mental floss is. We we get this little magazine called Mental. Floss. Not anymore, dude. R.I.P. Mental floss. Aww, Did that little... die this year? Yeah. yeah. Mental floss died this year. Yeah, they're on Twitter though. They still put. put content down yeah for. but they, uh, uh, right, yeah I, I don't i don't know what the powerball was either so i'm gonna go ahead and take the l on this as well uh yeah. on on how much it was but i mean usually it's like nobody blinks it unless it's like close to 200 right oh no it, i think it was like over a half billion dollars yeah, I, th crazy. I think oh, it was one it, of those things that uh, uh oh and, and by the way the, yeah the property will still exist online mental flaws don't totally freak out but the magazine i i subscribed yeah, to the online. magazine like the month it came out I, and Mm -hmm. In fact, you see the the early episodes or issues of uh, articles on Cracked.com are straight up knockoffs of stuff that was covered on Mental Floss. And I say knockoff, for all I know, was probably the exact same author. But it's like I would oh, read, yeah. like they, they did a great be. article on Parasites. And then, you know, three months later, I'd see the exact same article on Cracked, give or take. Yeah, yeah. But they... Um, it went over a billion dollars, they're saying in the chat. about how likely you are to die, like... You'd be murdered if you win a Powerball. Basically, it's like really bad to win. Oh yeah, like, it, all, it totally increases your 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 death expectancy. I have I have maybe five things that are bookmarked on the front page of of my Chrome, and I don't know how this one made it, but I've never had the heart to take it off. Uh, like one is a link to Scam School, one is a, 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 a weather some article on on pics, and then the other is a thread from Reddit that uh, the the title of the thread is "What's the happiest five word sentence you could hear?" and somebody answers, "You just won the lottery." And this yeah. guy responds saying, congratulations, you just won millions of dollars in the lottery. That's great. Now you're fucked. No, really, you're fucked. And he goes on to say, it's like you're 20 times more likely to die. You're more likely to have a drug overdose, more likely to go bankrupt, more likely to be kidnapped. Uh, uh, you know, triple digits in probability of drunk driving, the victim of homicide, defendant in a civil lawsuit. And it just goes on with the most horrifying stories of, of people who uh, uh, just, you know, died in a shootout with a police, declared b bankruptcy, no assets left. It's like the worst thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no. Uh, uh, big time problems. By the way, if, if, I think it was the root in the chat room, in, 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 in the Twitch chat, that put up a, a, a gif of me. Sorry, yeah, root8100. If somebody else could repost it down there so Brian can get it. Uh, it is me uh, in your final reveal of, uh, of of your of your drone story. It is just an epic gift. Oh, I'm oh, looking at it right yeah. now. He posted it in uh, uh, R E W T eighty one hundred on Twitter. Uh, let me see if I can bring it up over here. That's amazing. Uh, <laughs> here we go. I got it right there. Look at that. Oh ah! God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> You son of a bitch! <laughs> Those are 
those who are just listening, it's Harambe again. The photo Cincinnati Zoo didn't Damn want it. you to you, see. You, you're a real piece of garbage. You know that? Ah, you, know, you got you're just, me. Just a real, just a real son of a gun. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what else do we Number got? Number six. <laughs> David Bowie. Wait. Yep, naturally. Hey, um, I think I can name... And I'm sure a lot of people will hate. Uh, I think I can name maybe four to six David Bowie songs. I think I would recognize maybe 12. D- were you ever a sit down, listen to a full album of David Bowie uh, stuff at a time kind of guy? Oh, yeah. No, totally. I, I totally went through a, a you know, hunky dory. I, I probably burned my I burned my iPhone out listening to hunky dory. Uh, you know, it was uh, no, I love I mean, Bowie stuff is great. I mean. I think I really first got into him when he was into his uh, Trent Reznor industrial. Dude, like, I'm afraid of Americans was uh, a yeah. rad yeah. mashup. Did did that was good did one. you know that song? You know that song, right? Oh no, that's what got me into Bowie. Yeah, uh, yeah that that, that whole great. album where he was doing his his industrial rock thing, and and that video was obviously super huge with Reznor in it. Uh, but then I went back and listened to to all the the the, the psychedelic. Uh, Bowie, the 70s Bowie, the 80s Bowie, the Let's Dance, you know, like super pop star Bowie. So, now, uh, he, he, yeah, no, he he was uh, was certainly a huge uh, part of my my childhood. Absolutely. You did not care for the Bowie 2001 remix project the way I did. Right. Like, did you did you dislike it or you just kind of eye rolled it? You felt like it was it was not. Uh, well, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, oh, uh, well, there was some time. There's one time I put it on. If you go to Bowie2001.com, uh, you can uh, somebody. Oh, 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 where it's over top of 2001. Yeah, he took. Oh, no, uh, I love that. That was great. Yeah, they're all remixes. It's it's basically like a visual and audio kind of salad of, of Bowie content uh, mixed together with imagery from, you know, out of order uh, from 2001. But I like, dude. I I dug this. I don't normally. Yeah. No. No. I I, I thought it was great. I thought it was awesome. Yeah, that was good. Anyway, uh, Bowie2001.com definitely worth checking out. Yeah, go check that out. All right, uh, number seven. Deadpool. Deadpool was really number seven. Can I confess yeah. wow. something about Deadpool? Uh oh, is this gonna get controversial? Mm, yeah, Liked versus. it. Strong capital L liked it. Mm-hmm. Happy, happy for Ryan Reynolds. He's mm. he's waited a long time to have a let big it out. Let it out. Successful. Let it out. Shout, shout. Let it all out. It's the movie that could, despite all odds. Oh come on! Bring it all out. the money. Release it. Release it. Pretty forgettable. Oh. It was. Can you? Remember, I I mean, it was compared compared to I thought there were some really great movies. Uh, I liked it. I liked it. I don't know. I got to say I liked it. Oh, oh, okay. Here's a segment we like to call. Oh. <laughs> oh! Brought to you by Duracell. Duracell, long-lasting batteries when you need it most. Professionals, trust Duracell. Brian, for the oh moment of the year, what do you have to say about Deadpool? It was all right. I mean, this was my favorite reaction to Deadpool. Let's go. No. Uh... <laughs> Oh, oh, good. Dude, it's the Harambe photo. Yeah, we weren't tricked into that one. Yeah, okay. I was. You know what <laughs> because I, I got to say to that? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, damn. <sighs> uh, you know, uh, uh, so I rewatched it on, on, a, on a plane. Mm-hmm. And which, which, I, by, which, by the way, I'm convinced all movies get an unfair bump in quality when it's on a plane. Because number one, you're glad to be watching anything. And number two, yeah. on the small screen, a lot of things that played kind of cheesy on the big screen, just, you know, they're cute on the smaller screen. And they look better when they're in that, you know, they're they're in a smaller little thing. You're like, oh, wow, that definitely looks like a, something exploding. Yeah. Man, yeah. that totally looks like Grand Moff Tarkin and not a just demonic oh. uh, thing coming back to life. Oh, hot, hot takes. Hot takes. Mm. Oh! <laughs> Brought to you by our friends at Duracell. Mm. If you want some hate that just keeps going and going, that's the line that comes from a different battery. 
<laughs> if it looked good, they would have showed it in the trailers. Anyway, um, <laughs> the, uh, uh, the 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 Deadpool of it all. Um, I, I I I'm kind of with you. I mean, I I super loved it in the theaters. Uh, Capital but, L liked it. I liked it a lot. But it, it is one of those things where it's like it's hopefully it is a great appetizer for an epic franchise that can kind of spread some money a little bit farther. Because mm-hmm. like the the one the one thing that they um that they were like really good at was obviously taking a smaller budget and making a joke about the fact like half the joke was, Hey, we're Deadpool. Nobody wants to give us money. So we're just screwing around and making the most fun movie we can. And we're just going to layer every Rhino R- Ryan Reynolds quip. Like we possibly can. We're going to get them all in. We- we're going to go for volume, uh, not value. So whatever that, that uh, it lands for you, it lands. We're going to get other funny people to just make other funny jokes. It was well-written. It was well-executed, but like, I hope that the next one has just a little bit more heft to it. Just a little bit more, like, kind of story. Having said that, man, that whole story, you know, the fact that Ryan Reynolds himself allegedly leaked that, uh, uh, you know, that that, that sizzle reel that that set the internet on fire, got everyone so excited. Mm -hmm. There's not anything about this that isn't wonderful, that isn't great for, for geekdom and movie storytelling. And here's the crazy part. I am crossing my fingers here. And again, I'm super guilty of getting swept into awesome trailers and stuff, but yeah. Logan is going to be the first rated R Wolverine movie, and it does not look to me like they are wasting that rated R uh, rating on gratuitous whatever. It looks to me like this is a movie with a lot of gravitas that looks like, I mean, if it's, if it, it clearly feels like The Last of Us, and if it can capture a fraction of, of that power, Logan could be the defining superhero movie that studios ever made. Wait, was Deadpool not rated R? Re- Deadpool was rated R, and it, it blew away all the box o- office records because, uh, tr- you know, common sense says at uh, PG-13 is where all the money's at after rated R, you start losing money. And only because Deadpool blew out all the records at R, Logan is going to be rated R as well, which means mm. they can tell a kind of story that I think is going to be a lot better. Mm. Uh, wait, who has this? Spider Bite Zero in, 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 in Twitch chat just says it'd be great if Logan was R just because Professor X says the F word a lot. Oh! <laughs> oh! Nothing's different. Nothing different but Professor X. Or, it. or it's like, <laughs> like, there's like, a can, can, when can Professor X get a fucking taco? <laughs> I just want a fucking taco is what I want. I love fucking tacos, I want, Logan. I, 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 <laughs> You give me a fucking taco. I want there to be like a Wolverine Porky scene where he uses his claws to poke out a hole and then just gratuitously stare at <laughs> co-eds showering for a while. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh Jesus Christ. All right, here we go. Number eight, the Olympics, Brian. Were you familiar with the Olympics this year? I only know the Olympics happened because we were visiting my uncle at the time. <gasps> wait, wait, is number six Burkini? N- no, 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 Bonnie. No! <laughs> it's not. Number no! six is not the Burkini. That was like the big no. uh, Number six mm-hmm. was David Bowie, as we've already discussed. Oh, yeah. wait, right, we're going. I we're believe it's pronounced eight. David Burkini. <laughs> <laughs> David Burkini. No, uh, sorry, I, I, got, I got lost on the. Let's on the dance. Stages. But only if you're in a very specific non-Islamic type of dress. <laughs> no, I, it wasn't like the, the big news from the Olympics where everybody was all like, ah, oh, you know, because they were all. I, di- I didn't think that was an Olympics thing. That was that made news Wait, because. Wait, bikini was not the Olympics? No. Well, no, no, no. no B- but there B- was Bonnie's right. In there, the... there was lots of imagery showing like, oh, you know, American volleyball teams be dressed like this. Uh, oh. Other countries volleyball teams be dressed like that. Yeah, and then somebody, one of the one of the people commenting was this dude who just was like, "Well, what is she wearing?" And then like there was some, and like, well, I didn't know either, but like, I mean, oh, I so knew. that's how you came to know the burkini was was through. Well, yeah, I mean, it wasn't like well because the rest of us heard about it when it was banned on the beaches of France, right? Yeah. When they said, "No, you will show them titties." 
<laughs> that is the right. law no, of France. No, that, that this is I, France. We need to see him. How else will we know? <laughs> Which is okay. I was like, I kind of respect you, but I kind of don't. I don't know. But <laughs> hold on. <laughs> not, oh, wait, not wait, for wait, being... wait, Bonnie, you want to drop some bombs on France real quick? Yeah, real quick. No. Just let him have it. Okay, I was in France and I did not show my boobies. So. <laughs> Man, that's way to protest. I know. Hey, well, go I ahead and put, make, all right, quote, quote of the year. I was in France and I didn't show my boobies. That's it. <laughs> uh, 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 all right, so there we go. Olympics. Uh, Brian? Yeah. I do not know what this is. This oh. next one. Oh, my God. I don't either. Wait. The number nine, uh, number uh, nine. Uh, search is slither.io. I feel like I should know this. Uh, I'll tell you better what. than you guys. I'm gonna say like, I'm gonna say this is a hot new horror themed app available on iOS and Android that involves taking pictures of warts and s- surprising your friends with them. What? Justin, I, what's your I, guess? I think it is a fan site for the James Gunn film. Starring Nathan Philly and Elizabeth Banks and Michael Rooker, Slither. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Mm. Right, no, I'll tell you what, people are just are, are crapping on us. Uh, more more in the Twitch chat than in than in the Diamond Club chat. Uh, uh, apparently this is this is something that we are missing. You guys, I'm looking at the chat, and so now I remember Josie definitely has this on her phone. What Josie I'm has this? Sure. I'm pretty sure from How what I'm looking Josie at. How old is Josie for those who are just uh, watching now? Uh, she's nine. I think I, I'm pretty sure if the chat is talking about the game that I think it is. This is. Is it the hot new game where they make wart pictures and send them <laughs> to their friends? No, no, <laughs> no. What? It's a sexing app. Watch out. What? Oh, that's Patrick <laughs> Delahanty. Don't believe him. Oh, gosh. He's trolling me. Uh, wait, can we see it? Can we see it here yeah, on screen? Yeah, hold on. Yeah. Let me let me let me bust open. I'm gonna go to us. Uh, a oh, potato this... genocide in Twitch chat says Slither.io is literally a game that high school freshmen play when the substitute teacher comes in. Yes. On my day, it was pocket pool. Hello. Oh, oh, oh. Just uh, eat, eat <laughs> to grow I... longer. Yes, yes. They probably won't lose. Term this 24 is... in Diamond says he's the Slytherin fan site. <laughs> this is definitely. Who would have also accepted Randy Orton fan site. All right, but but Yeah, warts. and so you just go around and it's kind of like that game. Am I even doing a thing? Yeah, you just you eat little stuff and then along comes a bigger worm and you try not to get eaten by it. Well, I'm going to go eat them anyway. Uh, yeah. Well, if you zoom out, oh my gosh. And then. Wait, so it's a multiplayer game? So other people are also yes. playing and other eating each are other? Playing and then like um D- doesn't can- this seem like exactly the kind of thing that would be like part of the satanic panic of the late 90s slither oh my god is what the s- hell is going on i know and then those guys can actually eat you mm, not then, not me i'm it'll, pretty sure it'll never happen to me and do then- we have to add slither.io to our twitch streaming thing <laughs> wait what does yes, that mean you could that's true can i eat that little guy how do I no. eat somebody smaller than me? No, he's not smaller than you. This guy's that smaller one. than me. Fuck you. No, maybe not. Oh, eat his ass. What? Eat his... Wait, that's weird. I think I'm wrong. Oh, I am. Yeah, you did. Oh. Yeah. Right. I'm longer than this guy now, too. You are? Yeah, you can go. Uh, that poor guy. Yeah, no. So Kill or be him. killed. Look that at one, that veiny one. one. Mm, uh, that veiny one. You're going to chew uh, on his butt. I won't get your oh, ass you in my lost. life. Oh. oh, wait, how did he get you? He killed you. He had a bro fist. What? Right, this game sucks, and uh, <laughs> anyone who likes it is Hitler. Uh, I don't know. There's something about Slither. that. Slither.io, though. Did you have any idea about that, Brian? Uh, oh, no. they're, they're saying you have to cut them off, and he cut you off, so now he's a bigger yeah, well, you know what? You. I cut him off. He's off the stream. He you was going to be famous. But he he was going to be our new co-host. I was going to fire Justin. Not anymore. You cut me off, you're you're off the stream. You know, but he did give you a $2 tip. Oh, God. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, uh, Wait, I just realized, isn't that the Sam the Bellhop thing? <laughs> that that was the joke I was making. I have a $2 tip. We'll have to end the after show. We'll have to watch. By the way. Garcia's uh, take on that. Welcome to Night Attack, the show where we know Sam the Bellhop, but not Slither I.O. We're <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. I actually knew the one you guys didn't, sort of. Sort of. <sighs> no, you did. No, you you would have gotten it before we did. 
Well, All right, only because go. I read the chat. Last off, uh, it's the biggest movie of the year. And and literally, by the searches, uh, Bonnie, what do you think the biggest movie of the year is by the searches? Well, that's because there's a lot of guys looking at the Harlequin chick. That's what they're searching for. Trolls 2, that's right. <laughs> no. So, wait, how did the movie do in the box office? Because I haven't been watching the- Garbage. Garbage. It was a disappointment. Oh, Suicide, Squad? No, Suicide Squad did good. Suicide Squad almost made as much money as Batman vs. Superman. Oh, oh really? I, I was thinking in terms of expectations in the movie draft. That's the only lens through oh, which yeah, I watched all that stuff. Oh, yeah, that's what I was wondering. That's in, in, within that context. Uh, right? Didn't somebody, did we talk about this on the air? Uh, somebody, I guess, sued uh, because he was led to believe there was more Joker in the movie <laughs> than there actually oh, was. Oh, not Jack me. Oh, I mean, my gosh. Really? Whatever. I don't know. So, uh, there was just enough uh, 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 Joker. But by the way, people are pointing out that was not, I mean, the, the most popular movie in search terms was Deadpool. Uh, and uh, somebody oh, just sent right. me a link of somebody who saw the first 20 minutes of it. And apparently that's not a joke. Professor X says the F word in the first 20 minutes t uh, five times. No according. way. Uh-oh. Whoopsie. Yeah. In which one? In, the dip in, in Logan. I can't get this fucking Mysterio to work. <laughs> Mysterio. What is it? No, God, what's Mysterio. the thing? It's called an iPod. <laughs> it's not an iPod. He does. He's never seen an iPod before. It's not. <laughs> why would he need to? Why can't he just like. Do Cere I have to have Cerebro. Where's my Firewire cord? You're, ta you're talking I'm about Professor Cerebro. X. I have a 5 gig Mac only iPod. <laughs> but it's too late. I've seen as, everything. <laughs> as long as it's in bro Cerebro, gold. not Mysterio. Bro's That's what gold. I was saying. <laughs> As long as it in, it's in bros gold. That's All right. Thing. Speaking about movies in 2016, let's find out who's going to win everything in the movie draft minute. Goodbye, CosmicRadio.tv for the week of December 26th, 2016. I'm your host, Roberto Villegas. What more is there to say? 2016 just happened to be that kind of year. So let's check the scoreboard one last time and move forward into 2017. Mikey Newman's in sixth place with Assassin's Creed bringing in $22.4 million a week and why him bringing in $16.7 million a week bringing his total to $56.8 million. Brian Brushwitz in fifth place with Singh bringing in $76.6 .6 million a week bringing his total to $166.5 million. Longo AE is in fourth place with passengers bringing in $30.4 million a week bringing his total to $258.1 million. Christy Cates is in third place, $274.1 million. Justin Robbie Young's in second place with $319.5 million. And in first place, the whopping $466.9 million. It's Team DTNS. And that is your move drive Wait, for whoa, the whoa, week whoa, whoa, of whoa, December whoa, 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 whoa. It's Team D in first place, the whopping $466.9 million. It's Team DTNF. I'm going to call a technical foul on this one because uh -oh. the score clearly shows, which means it has got to be... What? <laughs> There's Justin. He's gesticulating towards gesticulating. <laughs> it's a technical a, uh, foul. Technical foul. Come on, Justin. Yeah. That's unfair celebration. You're not in first place. You don't get to double throng it. Oh, damn it. All right. What What would you call that gesture anyways? Uh, That's the double flip dip triangle knob. <laughs> knob? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Go ahead. You do it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do uh, it. All right, so, so hold I on. Apparently, TTNS does have more. It was a typo. <laughs> yes. Instead but of I don't know what what the actual number is. Well, I mean, we could just look at this number and then just it's just it's right there. <laughs> Congratulations, Justin. All right. Uh, here, if I'm going to go to draft.diamondclub.tv, that's how it. how much longer do we have to the draft? Uh, dude, we got all the way through Logan. And by the way, Patrick oh my Delahunty, God. Yeah, no. Uh, as of now, DD Ness has four hundred sixty-seven million. Uh, yeah, that's about right. It's gonna make some more money too. Uh, how long? Do, how long do you think it goes? You think uh, they they kiss six hundred million? Uh, that uh, uh, Rogue One does. Well, no, no, no. DTNS total. So I figure uh, oh. it's not gonna make any more money from uh, Amityville, Resident Evil, or any of that crap. Right, it's all it's all going to be Rogue One, 
Do you think Rogue One has more than $130 million left in the tank? Yeah, maybe. I mean, you, like, I don't know what else is coming out now. I mean, because now it, it is it is total. There ain't another big movie until, I mean, maybe Triple X, The Return of Xander Cage. Uh, well, what? that's that's me, though. Right. So. Uh, so. Keep yeah. In mind- but that's not until July or sorry, January, late January. So oh, like we that's got to be a lot of time. Uh, sure, but also keep in mind, uh, here's my theory, and again, this is me uh, maybe wearing some rose-colored glasses. Uh, Sing is the only kid show out right now. No no adult's going to take their kid to go see Rogue One, not when they hear that it's a depressing... Oh, man, I just wanted to say a lot of spoilers. Uh, <laughs> um, I don't think Rogue One has a lot of repeat uh, viewing with kids, whereas Sing, I think, totally will. Um, I think that Sing had a strong opening at seventy million. I think it's gonna. Wait, are you, are you talking yourself into believing that you have this? No, not that I have it, but but that it's not over. Uh, Patrick Delahanty is doing the "It's Over" dance, shouting "Dominus Ominous," and I don't believe that because it's gonna look very different in. Uh, the beginning of the summer mu- uh, movie season in mid March, when Logan comes out, Logan alone is going to do 200 million. John Wick alone is going to do 100 to 150 million. So, in the first million. month, you think Logan's going to do 200 million? In, in, in the first 30 days? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's got 30 days. All right. Uh, so, okay, let's be conservative. Let's say 150 for Logan, 150 for John Wick, Chapter 2. Let's say only 100. Or well, wait, screw it. Let's say 150 for for Fifty Shades Darker. Let's say only 75 for Triple X, uh, and then and Sing Gold Hidden Figures uh, and the Founder. You're telling me that those don't have another 150 200 million in there? You're you're telling me it's for reals over? I mean, I I, I would say that it's probably over. Yeah. Because I, I, I think you're overestimating Triple X. I think you're overestimating John Wick. Those two. Okay. So let's cut those in half. So so let's say let's say Sing open to seventy. How much more do you think is in the tank on that one? Uh, say, probably another fifty, maybe forty. Uh, all right. Let's say let's say. 50. I mean, because figure it halves every week, right? Uh, if it halves every week, it's a it's a great movie. Yeah, I don't know what gold is going to make. Let's just give it ten. Let's call it let's call it sixty for Sing and Gold. Hidden figures. Let's give that another ten just to be safe. I don't know seventy seventy million. The founder. Let's give it another ten, which is, these are ridiculous numbers. Uh, so we're at eighty. Xander Cage. You you think is not going to do seventy million? I do not. No. Okay. Well. Yeah, that- I think that I mean I don't know I mean maybe I just think if you look at non Fast and Furious Vin Diesel movies, they they don't do well and it's been so long since right, Triple well, X. Allow think- then I'll, just allow me that between Sing Gold Hidden Figures Founder and Triple X, I'm gonna guess there's 150 between all those movies combined. Do you are you sure. seeing that right? Sure. Yeah. If Fifty Shades Darker. How much you want to give that? I mean, I, I would I would have to look at what the first one did, but but I would I would say probably seventy five percent of what the first one did. Okay, so call that a hundred million. So we're at two fifty. John Wick, what do you want to give it? I would say John Wick will probably get to maybe fifty. Okay, so fifty or sixty. That puts us at three hundred million. What do you think Logan's gonna make? In the first thirty days, I think it'll it'll debut to. 40 million and then do 20 you, million, 10 million, so wow. 90 million total. You think Logan's going to do half I as think well that's as a, Sing? If it makes $100 million, it's a huge success. Okay, but you, uh, wow, you think it'll do half as well as Sing? Um, okay. Well, well look, at, look at what the previous Wolverine standalone movies have done. Okay, about. well, that, that, that's fine. Uh, so even with all those, that's 400 million left in the tank. It's sitting on 165, that's 565. Yeah, that would have me losing because there's definitely more than a hundred million left in DTNS. Yeah. yeah, all right. Yeah, it could, it could, it could go that way. I, I, I'm, listen, I'm, I mean, how confident do you feel? Are you willing to put something on it? Uh, oh no, 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 no. I, I. What if? What if? What if? Uh, the old odds maker. They call me Otto Odds Maker. <laughs> oh, Otto the Odds Maker. I haven't seen you in uh, in a pig's eye. Yeah, it's I. I make odds. Are, are we all are we all caught up on steaks? Like I bought everyone a cow, right? 
I think, uh, yeah, you did. I'm the odds maker. I don't keep track of the bets, but I do make odds. I'll tell you that. Hey, Brian, I hear you want some action on the movie draft. Well, old Otto has something up his sleeve. Is it a steak? No. Just fuck. kidding. <laughs> It is uh, some odds for you. I, I have this one. Uh, what if I spot you twenty million? Twenty mi- Oh wait, Yo, whoa, whoa! You're giving me odds on this. You're gonna say I'm gonna come uh, that I won't even get within twenty million of of of. I mean, ETS? what I'm just saying, I'm out of the odds maker. What do you say? I just give you a little bit of odds, huh? You know what? I I I can't speak to the exact number, but I'm gonna say within ten percent. Let's keep it to the millions. Otto, the odds maker, despite making his living on numbers, <laughs> is not so good at him. I mean, the pro- well, the problem is, I think that's only 3%. Uh, What's the matter, Brian? Ain't you got no steak scrote no more? All right, g- give, me, give me within 30 million and you got a steak bet. A premium How about steak I give bet. you within 22? No, whoa, 25, 25 and it's a deal. 25 and it's a deal. 24 and a half. And that's my final offer. All right, I'll take it. I'll take it. 24 and a half million. So you have to be within 24 and a half million. Are we, are we doing a stake? Or over, because I could blow past them and still win, right? Oh, no, 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 yeah. No, if you, if you win outright, you win outright. This is the, the spread is minus 25. Okay. Or 20, sorry, 24 and a half. 24.5. I'm going to regret that 24.5, aren't I? <laughs> If this comes down to 0. 0.5 million, if, in I'll tell you what. If it does come to that 0. 0.5, you're gonna get a box of steakums. That's all you get. I'm like, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go oh, ahead and gosh. take a look at Diamond Time. Diamond Time is where you can shout out your project right here on the show. If you want to put your project in for consideration, go ahead on over to Reddit.com/r/diamondclub or DiamondClub.reddit.com. Ethan Kane. Right, DiamondClub.tv is bringing an amazing cast to celebrate the new year with you. No matter where in the world you are, Diamond Club will be live to ring in the new year celebration with new content, chat round presents, and open Skype lines for 27 hours straight. Why would we do this? Because we're masochists that love to suffer? No! Because we feel that there should be at least one holiday where absolutely no one is alone. But that's not why we're raising money. We're doing it for charity, children's hospitals, through extralife.org. And our top donors will be eligible to win a Scott Johnson original poster signed by DiamondClub.tv royalty. Check out our schedule and participating streamers at YOLO420.com slash Marathon2017. Heck stop- yes. Oh. Yeah, stop by anytime during the New Year celebration at DiamondClub.tv to join in. And uh, I think that is uh, that is definitely going to be something that we can uh, oh, yeah. we can- pop into yeah right? we're all gonna drop in on there i think bonnie's gonna do a workout video and gambling man in the chat points out for those of you guys who don't know we got a lot of fresh faces here diamond club is the tree house where we all like to hang out 24 hours a day seven days a week that's all we ask head on over to diamondclub.tv and join the irc with guys like me hey diamond oh, club oh my god that's adorable says rue 9x <laughs> did you get a kindle or ebook read for christmas oh wait you did you should pick up thunder and marrow over on amazon it's weird Weird Western fantasy novels with orcs, cowboys, guns, and badass chicks with huge swords. Best part, the electronic copy is free through Kindle Unlimited for the holiday season. Visit tiny.cc slash thunder to check out Thunder and Marrow. The ebook is th- is free throughout the week, or you could buy the totally awesome paperback for $12.99. Thanks, guys. No, Rue9x. Thank you for your continued support of Diamond Club. Uh, and BioCow wants us to again know about the stream here on New Year's Eve. Last year, Amos took the Herculean Wait, this student- just in. Ethan Kane replies to BioCow saying, BioCow, please remove this post in favor of the updated one above. Thank you so much for your support. YOLO420.com slash Marathon2017. Uh, hey, man. Uh, it, it, it's, it's the stream, so nice. We plugged it twice. <laughs> no, it's going to be great, dude. It's going to be a really, really good time. Uh, hot googly dig dog. What an adventure. I feel like we learned a lot. Mm-hmm. Uh, absolutely, man. We, uh, we, we, we definitely had a, a, a hell of a time. It was, uh, it was, it was absolutely a, a real... Uh, I mean, you had to mangle your hand. 
a little bit. I'm so happy. Like, I just remember touching the tips of my fingers. I'm like, sensitivity's good. Range of motion's good. It's a bit puffy. All right. Got a bit of a road rash on the side. Also, still love the drone. I love you, baby. Don't do that again, though. <laughs> uh, you want to know what? I have this to say. Yeah. 16 was a was 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 a real pisser of a year. I think for for a lot of folks, uh, I would like to thank everybody who has been a part of our amazing community uh, uh, all throughout uh, uh, 2016. 2016 was the first year that I was fully not working for anybody. That I was focusing on our 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 Diamond Club community, both through this and our, and my one mic shows. It was a, an extraordinarily important year. I know for me personally, I want to thank everybody for doing it. I want to thank everybody for having uh, the patience and the sense of adventure to try to expand our, our, our community to this new platform. Uh, and, and I want to thank you, Brian, and you, Bonnie, for having me in your home oh so many times this year. And uh, I want to promise that it's going to be the best year of Diamond Club ever. I love you. See you next Tuesday, people. Love you guys. Oh, yeah. yeah. Enjoyed this program. <laughs>